Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay, all right? These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like, danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 it's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hello, Aries. So let's see what's coming up for you for the overview of 2020. Please understand that these are not meant to be surface level. The reason why I'm using cards is because I like artwork and <laughs> words are beautiful. They have a frequency, okay? It's not that I need them and that's not an ego thing. I'm just saying, you know, people tend to like to connect with this and why not? If there's beautiful artwork, let's use it. But please listen to this in the spirit of I'm using this information to bring me into a higher consciousness and I'm going to use this energy and these messages to bring me into more alignment with myself. That is imperative. It's not about, is he gonna love me? You got a lot of work to do. It's not gonna be like, am I gonna be rich this year? You got a lot of work to do, all right? And this year is gonna hit you hard if you're still in that mindset. Not that those things are bad, but if you're waiting on your happiness and your growth until someone <laughs> comes or some external circumstance actually you know, comes true in your life, it's going to be a rough year for you, all right? So let's see what we can offer you for your higher consciousness and your highest good. Yeah, a lot of you might be getting, don't be surprised if we don't start getting more transmissions right? <laughs> From like light beings. So we have illumination. Something's really going to blow your world up in a good way, hopefully, uh, where you go, oh my gosh, now I get it. God. Yeah. A lot of you are using this time to get in touch with God. <laughs> Ascension. And finally, the resurrection. Some of you actually, I feel like you literally feel like you're coming back from the dead. There's some illumination around what God means. It might not be the God that you were raised with. It might not be the God that uh, you think hates you or is going to punish you or doesn't accept you for who you are. Um, you're redefining and being illuminated. Here, let me do that. You're being illuminated by a different definition of high focus. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> uh, you're, you're renewed understanding of God force and God force energy. Now, as you understand and are illuminated by this understanding of God force energy, if you misuse it, you're going to fall back. You're going to fall back. Okay. So then we have ascension. So this God force energy is really helping you understand your truest nature. It's really helping you look past the surface level. It's really breaking open a cycle. For you guys it's it's breaking open this density consciousness and it almost feels as if i've got this card here because this is like this is the big finish to the story right um the resurrection is you shedding 
this density, which is going to be a real thing for us in the next few years, <laughs> right? Um, understanding what your version of God is, God's source creator, um, how that lives within you, how that expresses through you, and you come alive. You truly come alive. And you don't care about how your job is going. You don't care. Just as long as you have food on the table and you have a roof over your head, you don't care. <laughs> as a matter of fact, we might even see that on a societal level where people are finally going, oh, we've been focused on the wrong things. I want to focus on that God within me. I want to, that part of God that's within me. I want to focus on being illuminated. You notice that the word enlightenment is not here. Why? Because people have made that a dirty word. I am so enlightened. <laughs> you know, <laughs> run away from anybody who's like, I'm so enlightened. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not happening, okay? What you are doing is coming into your peace. You're coming into your joy. And that resonates at the heart space, right? Uh, so a lot of people are living in their lower chakras. They're living in fear. They're living in fear of not being taken seriously in this world. Um, they're, you know, instead of us trying to appease bullies and judgmental people, why don't we just not vibrate with them, live in our purest space, and just live our happiness? And maybe, just maybe, we'll be an example, okay? <laughs> Again, not in an egotistical kind of way, but in a manner of, you know, this is the light, this is the joy, this is where, you know, we can actually vibrate and function, you know what I'm saying? And that's where this resurrection comes into play, right there. You tap into the light within. This is an incredibly spiritual time. Again, I am not saying that you are bad if you want to publish a book, let's say. Let's say this is the year that it really takes off. Well, this is more that approach of, I'm gonna write the book, not because oh, I need to be heard, or I need to get this off my chest, so I'm gonna do an emotional brain dump. Yeah, both of them, emotions and brain. Emotional brain dump onto the page and hope people just eat it up and want to buy it, <laughs> okay? I really do think we'll see a surge of different kinds of literature coming out and um, a rebirth around that sort of thing too. I think we're going to see uh, song lyrics start to change. Right now it's very dark. There are lyrics out there that really are trying to draw people back. But for 2020, for, for you guys, this is seeing it and feeling a little slapped by it and going, no, <laughs> I'm choosing to resurrect. I am choosing to come into my light body and integrate that light body with my physical body. So I want to make it clear. This ascension process, I know in 2020, or excuse me, 2012, every, everyone thought we were going to poof out of our bodies and move on <laughs> to something else. That's, you're realizing that's not what your ascension entails. It's this. All right. So letting some of that deeper, more profound understandings come on out. What's really beautiful about this is that you have the potential to experience a love that... When it comes forward, I'm not talking about a love partner, guys, okay? Side note, I, I met a woman who said she had never been single before. It, it shook me. I mean, it shook me. I was like, how do you know who you are? Like, oh, whoa. So you've always been defined by your relationships? And she functioned like that, too. Whatever her boyfriend said, she went along with it. And yet she tried to put this face on like she's a strong feminist. And she'd never been without a man. So it, it was interesting to, to see that. But, you know, you guys are, are not just experiencing love in that way. You're experiencing that kind of love. You know it's divine when it feels like a long lost memory. When it opens up inside of you like that. All right. I remember I used to have moments like that when I was a kid. And I remembered a place that I couldn't really picture it in my mind. But in my heart, I remembered. I fully fully remembered. So the story we have here, this needs to be your focus, all right? If you're coming to 2020 from a very shallow standpoint, I said it, from a shallow standpoint, this isn't going to be your year nor the next 10 to 15. At some point, you're going to have to figure it out. Why not let it be now, <laughs> okay? As a matter of fact, don't even wait until that time. Just, just get to it, you know, just get to it now. So you need to be connected into the heart space. Everything that you do needs to be coming from a space of love, not because that's how much money I'm going to, you know, that's where I'm going to make money or that's where I'll be famous or that's where, 
you know, everyone will think I'm really great if I'm with this person. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole big switch. So, woo, I almost dropped the deck. <laughs> it's a whole big switch. So some of you, the more you resist, the harder it's going to be. Sorry, a few cards fell out. Let me let me shuffle again because I, I really I thought one card was sticking out, and then I realized there was like three of them stuck together. That's not that's not the message. Don't leave comments about it. I mean it. No ego around these places. I ain't having it. <laughs> no more ego. All right, we'll get you your color card here in just a moment. That's it. That that one. So here it is, uh, it is silver, be persistent. The number is 27, so there is that. So when you feel like you're getting, you know, kind of uh, battered around a little bit, and this feels specifically about like, you know, some of you want to have um, like a more spiritual life, but that might feel like it's in stark contrast to how you've set up your life, how your job is, how, you know, your family functions, you know, the whole bit. Or you might be getting a lot of people who want to pull you back into darkness and say, I don't even know you anymore. They start to make you feel guilty for expanding and growing. So this isn't a bad thing. This is, remember, we're just observing. We're not judging people. We're not um, pushing people out of our lives because they're not you know, on the same page as us. They're not, you know, that is such an ego thing to say. And this is where we're learning to come out of that. Now, you guys can be very forceful. You can be, and it's what's beautiful about you is that you're very uh, strong and sturdy in who you are, <laughs> right? So use this, utilize it in a peaceful, loving way for the highest good of all. This is where we're at now, guys. No more messing around. No more being shallow. No more just looking at the surface level. I know sometimes you worry about the bills, but the more you, ca you catch yourself up in that, the more you're gonna live there. It's you. The door is open. Someone has opened the giant warehouse door and said, come on out. Yeah, you're gonna have to adjust. Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to a different way of living, but be persistent. Do not give up on yourselves. Do not give up on your spiritual practice. Do not give up on God. Don't give up on the God within you. And certainly don't give up on love. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care.